Hey everyone, AZ Plant Reviews here. I found one. I've been getting a comment for a long time on every single one of my plant review videos for the past like month and a half of someone asking me to review the Arizona sycamore tree. And I kept saying, once I find a good one, well, I found a bunch of them when I was out driving through the forest. So they're not super commonly used in landscapes in the core Phoenix area. Most likely if they're used in landscaping areas, they're in the Phoenix area, they're going to be along the outskirts in the Cave Creek area, you know, kind of northern areas closest to the beginning of the transition zone. And I'm sure there's a lot more of them in the Tucson area and in the very smaller towns in the transition zone ecosystem. But the Arizona sycamore tree is a really famous tree for Arizona because they grow in the washes. They need water. They are in an area where water cascades to, washes, streams, creeks, rivers. If there is a consistent source of water, or at least groundwater that is near the surface enough for those roots to get to, sycamore trees will likely grow there. And as long as it is not in the hottest parts of the desert. You're not going to find them in like, say like the Kofa Wildlife Re Refuge or something. Like these kind of limit themselves to the central strip of Arizona in the upper Sonoran Desert through the transition zone and into some of the lower forest areas. You're not going to find them in the coldest alpinest forest. You're not going to find them in Alpine or Sholo most likely. You'll see them in the washes from the Payson elevations, like 5,000 feet, down to about 2,500 2, feet, something like that. They're really nice. They lose their leaves in the winter. They are beautiful when they go deciduous and start shedding their leaves in the fall. And then they're nothing in the winter. They come back in the spring. Beautiful, amazing trees. There's not enough of them in the wild. Um, so if you have an opportunity to get one, just make sure that you're putting in an area where it's going to be getting a lot of water. I don't usually advocate for the flood irrigation practice in some parts of the city, but uh, Arizona Sycamore would probably do just fine in an area that gets flood irrigation. Like you, you just need to make sure it has a water source because just, just because it's in Arizona doesn't mean it's a desert plant right? It's technically a desert plant, but it is a plant that signifies an oasis, right? Again, if you see one in nature, it's by water, so you have to give this water. It'll be the, a water-consuming tree, but it'll be a beautiful one, and it is a native plant. So if you're trying to fulfill your native plant ratios in your community or whatever, then this is a great option for you if you're not concerned about the water, which I'm typically concerned about the water. But, you know, if that's not your issue and you want like a nice tree that has some cool looking leaves that remind you of non-Arizona places, I guess, <laughs> then the leaf texture and everything of this will do a great job. They also can grow really tall. Like you can see ones that are 40, 50 feet tall and their canopies can get about 30, 40, sometimes even 50, I guess, feet wide, but mostly they grow taller than they do wide and they create great shade. So they're really nice. It's just, you know, it's not like a great water saving option at all because of how and where they grow. So I think the best I can give them is an eight out of 10, but they're definitely a beautiful tree, iconic for Arizona, especially if you got in nature a lot. You'll see those and you'll know that you're near water. All right, let me know what you want me to review next time and uh, bye bye